Fernel, it's good to catch up with you again. And uh, you've been in the game of media for more than 20 years now and uh, <laughs> at the top of your game. Uh, how does it feel having to make all those difficult decisions? <laughs> um, occasionally nerve-wracking. Um, but an honor, really. So I'm, I'm very lucky in that for 24 years I've had a front seat to how our democracy is being made and being shaped. Yeah. And uh, now, as a woman, how do you feel? I mean, about empowerment, transformation, because it's one of those topics in South Africa. We're not sure how to handle mm. it. You know, it, it, it actually most of the time divides people. Mm. So I just feel incredibly lucky um, and totally understanding that if it wasn't for policies of transformation, employment equity as well as black empowerment, I certainly wouldn't have been able to get my dream job um, and to be able to have that front seat to how a country is being made. But now, on the other side, and, and you play a critical role as an editor and anybody else who works in the media plays that mm. particular role. But the view is, in government circles in particular, that media is not transformed mm. and that media is not patriotic to the extent that there are suggestions that government must have its own media house. What's your take on transformation of the media and the setting up mm. of the media house by government? So I think lots of what I read coming out of government is with respect, very ill-informed, because I don't think that the media as they capture it is the media we know. Take where we're sitting now, a startup, no barriers, low barriers to entry. Almost everybody can start their own TV station, radio station, put it on the internet, um, you can tweet, uh, you can create your own newsletters. So I think there's been a lot of uh, fracturing and diversification. It's much more democratic, much more diverse um, than we care to believe. Um, people will argue and say, well, to do a print product is really still expensive. Yes, it is. But I think if our government very quickly moved over to digital, got the digital migration right, it would free up spectrum to allow more and more people to just be journalists, be owners, be publishers. What's the big issue for you in South Africa up to now mm. and going forward? For me, youth unemployment is our single biggest issue. If we can give our three million young people who don't have jobs some foot up into the economy, I think we'll see a changed and reshaped and transformed country um, in five to ten years. Farel Hafeji, a pleasure talking Thank to you. Thank you very much, Tim.